this master of Buddhist study programs uh, uh, stationed in the uni University of Hong Kong. It's uh, quite a unique program that, um, in the sense for, for academic studies and also for many people searching for meanings in life. Our slogan for this program is in search of sustainable happiness. Um, you know, a lot of people are looking for happiness. We believe that we are studying so that we become, we have a good job so that we become happy. We look for a friend, we look for uh, 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 maids and partners so that we believe when we fall in love, we become happy. So happiness is something that we, we all work for, we all, we all to hope to attain. However, this happiness that we are all aiming for very often is not sustainable. And we believe that when we, once I have this, then I'll be happy, and once I have that, I will be happy. But once you have it, after a while, that happiness is gone away. And so what we are talking about here is sustainable happiness. Where can we look for this sustainable happiness that as a person? If sustainable happiness is not available to us in the material world, uh, is spiritual world a sustainable happiness? Is it believing in something spiritual give us that sustainable happiness? And there are a lot of different spiritual, different aspects of spiritualities. So which aspect of spirituality can enlighten us to a to attain this sustainable happiness. Of course, we believe that the Buddha's teachings, the Buddha that lived 2,500 years ago in India, he leaves behind to us a very profound teachings. And with these profound teachings in there, I think there's a lot of information, a lot of methods that would enable us to come up with some kind of inspirations, some kind of method so that we be able to deal with all the stressful situations in life. So many of the people come to study our programs are not only for there for the knowledge, but for the knowledge that will be enable us to look, th look for something deeper inside of us, a deeper level of happiness that does not rely on superficial things. We offer courses on early Buddhist teachings, what the Buddha actually taught 2,500 years ago. We offer courses on Mahayana Buddhism that emphasize compassion and uh, wisdom and the wisdom of non-attachment. We also offer courses on Vajrayana, the, uh, what we people, most people call Tibetan Buddhism. Um, these are the, the more or less the, the, the foundation courses. We also have language courses. We have pe uh, teachers' teachings, uh, Pali language, Sanskrit, and also Tibetans. Um, apart from these more theoretical um, courses. We also have courses that uh, teaches mindfulness practice. I myself teach a course on reading of important meditation texts that would introduce people the what the text, how did the text introduce us to how, as to how to meditate. So we not only we offer courses on theory, but we also try to provide people with theoretic um, on ap applications. And we also have courses on how to, you know, the, um, uh, uh, how to live in the daily life and things like that. Why do people come to take our course? There's all different reasons, but there was one interesting situation. Um, one of our graduates came and told us that the reason that he enrolled in our program was that he was going to a graduating ceremony. Graduating ceremony under the art faculties. She was graduating from another program. While she was going through the graduation ceremonies, 
and she saw this bunch of graduates. This bunch of graduates was always smiling and very happy. They were all, you know, the, the, the atmosphere, atmospheres of them, the, the energy of this group of graduates was very, very, really good. So she came up and, and asked them, what, what are you guys studying? What are you graduating from? And they said, Master of Buddhist Studies. So they said, there must be something to this program. This program. Then this whole bunch of graduates is all very happy. So she enrolled, and now she is gradua graduating, and she's also very happy.